Excellency. We are here on behalf of the head of the Andani Royal Family, Yuna Abubakari Muhammad Sal, and Kampo Kuena Abdullah Yakub Andani, the Regent and Overlord of Dagban, to inform you of the commencement of the funeral rites of our late Father Nayaku and then the second, in consultation with Nayev Kubuna and his elders and the consecrated elders of Dagbang, that the funeral will commence on the 4th January 2019. Your determination to see a united Dagbang. The two royal families of Andani, of uh, two royal families of Dagban, Abudu and Andani, agreed to perform the funeral rites of former Yana Muhammadu and the funeral rites of Nayaku Andani II, whose mother brought this unity to Dagban. The final funeral rites of former Yana Muhammadu, being about to end tomorrow, Friday, 28 December 2018. The Andana royal family is ready and willing to commence the funeral rites of Yana Yakub Andani II on, on 4th January uh, 2019 and complete same on the 18th January 2019. Today we have come to officially inform the President of the Republic of Ghana that we, the children, ranging from Kampakwena Yakub up the light and then regent of Dabu. We have declared today that we are committed to the road map being ruler to ensure lasting solution to double. We the children, we have made it clear that whatever we have to do or we must do to ensure that the bond gets a lasting peace. We are committed to the, the peace process, the roadmap, to ensure that the bond has a lasting peace. This is a message that everybody in Ghana will be happy to hear about today. And as coming at the end of the year, for those of us who are Christians, it's like a big Christmas present. I am overjoyed that this process is going along peacefully. And that today, the message that the Yona has sent to me with the Kampukuya now is that on, yours, on, on their side, they're also going to honor the terms of the roadmap and make sure that the funeral of the Yana Yakubu Andani takes place according to schedule. Vona, when you were talking about the challenges that have been in getting us to where we are today and the compromises that had to be made along the way to make sure that we got to where we are today. I think in that statement, you have hit the nail on the head. And it is um, a sign of your commitment to peace and to the restoration of normalcy in Gabon that these compromises have taken place to be able to meet these challenges. You can never make peace without compromises. I think that insofar as those compromises have been made and we are where we are today, it is to the credit of the entire people of Dagbo, and especially to you, the leaders, that you have heeded the appeal for peace and have found it possible to come together and bring us to where we are today. I've said before that I'm not an Andani and I'm not an Abudu, but I've decided that I'm an Abudani. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that, 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 that is what I am. And I am a Buddha Dani uh, to be at everybody's. So, once again, thank you very much for coming. And God bless you all. Thank you.